Sometimes I look at Twitter and I just think to myself, how the hell are these people even allowed on the internet? There should be a test before some people actually go online and make a tweet. You know how you have like the two-step authentication for your phone and for social media apps? Well, I personally think each time before one of these people send a tweet, they should really just stop, think, take an exam and then maybe do it. So what we're going to take a look at today is the following. What was the comment? I'll let this video speak for itself. How is he homophobic when there's video evidence of him defending gays against Christian protesters? Which is very true. We've all seen the video, he stuck up for him, and he went to the people who were going against him and be like, guys, what are you doing? We're all the same. We all love each other, and these people, let them love who they want. But again, no, you do have some people out there who will think, oh my god, he hates gays, he's against them, he's homophobic. And it turns out the people who are actually shouting those at Vic are the ones who are homophobic themselves. And he carries on. Also, if I were to walk up with fan art of Jamie or Monica in the buff, they would sign it. And this is when Laura Archive, that glorious person or persons who like to think that they're getting one over on people when a tweet which was done months ago, I covered it about two months after it was done, and they were like, ha, got you. Wow, you're calling me a grifter because I done a video on a tweet that you done two months ago? If I was a grifter, I would have done the video literally the second you posted it. But no, these people literally have no brain cells. And this is what they had, had sad to say about it. Yes, they would sign in the buff art. In fact, Jamie even sells some of her more risky characters. So, literally, she just wants money. That's all she wants. She doesn't care about the fan art. She doesn't care about the fans. All she wants is literally, I want your money. But then, we kind of went back to him. But what about the actresses themselves? If someone made in the buff fan art of them, would they sign it? And again, Laura Archive, literally, without thinking, comes back with, I would, because that takes some serious dedication. To me, that just goes to show that this person, or persons, who are running the law archive, which we kind of got a list of who they are, they're nothing but a bunch of morons. All of them are. They think, like, oh, we're clever. Ha <laughs> ha. We do this. We do that. But it's like, come on now, guys. You're showing the world how dumb you really are. And you're showing the world that you, people like you shouldn't be using social media. And you're also giving social media a bad name. But we're going to leave that one for a moment, and we're going to take a little look now at something else. Which has actually come across to me, and it's very, very interesting, because it's another thing from Jamie Markey. So we have the following. And on the other hand, Markey demonstrates some bitch-like behaviour when she's not recognised. You've never seen any of those. You've never seen Full Metal Alchemist. You've never seen Orion Host Club that he's in gestures about Vic, and look at her face. It's basically the exact same face Rial made in the deposition, when she showed her jealousy with the, his name was on the box and mine wasn't, even though I was the main character. But it's also the same face Rial made when drinking water and swilling it around her mouth like it was Listerine. So this hot take probably doesn't mean nothing. Which is very true, because we have seen so many of these things recently where you got Monica, you got Jamie and all these people, they are literally, they're either obsessed or they're extremely jealous of Vic. We know this. And I've, I've been seeing over the last, last couple of weeks now, people have been tagging me in things on Twitter and it's quite a few people who are from KV and everything else, the ones who are still left, the ones who are still... For some unknown reason, they're the ones who are still on it. Like, oh my god. They just want to try and destroy someone. And they're going to make it their job to do that till their end of their days. But you got all of them shouting, screaming, saying, we got evidence, we got this, we got that. And it's like, well, okay, show us. And then they say, well, we got all the evidence and it's in the court case. Where? Where is it in the court case? But what we're going to do, we're going to you know, go from Jimmy Markey now. We're going to go to Monica Real. And this is what we have. So it's coming from the fans. Monica, I didn't lie. Neither did the others who filed affidavits. Well, actually, we got one person who is a 
actually paranoid schizophrenic who has actually been medically diagnosed that you cannot believe her. So again, that one's a lie. You've even got people who have stuck up for Vic going against some of these affidavits, including Monica's own deposition, where they're like, yeah, that never happened. I never saw that. If she was stressed, she never showed it, or she never showed anything. So we got them there. I'm sorry that you fell for it. Receipts are coming. Also, Monica, it's been over a year. All the evidence is on the table. It's crazy that you still don't get it. Which is very true, because they said, oh, receipts are still coming. You got Ron saying, we got all this, we're going to show it. And then they're both like, oh, all the evidence is out. Okay, which one is it? <laughs> you know? But we got Monica Real. Just a reminder, if you are hateful, I'm going to block you. Yeah, you can post whatever you want on your Twitter. But this is my little corner of the internet. I have no patience for rudeness, bullying, or hatefulness. You could take that elsewhere. That's fair enough, Monica, but you need to tell some people to stop doing it as well, because they're not going to. Because they, th for some unknown reason, you're their queen, and they literally white knight for you like anything. BT, for example. And then someone bite? Yeah, well, you got Vic fired by lying on him, so feel free to block me then. You know, after a year... You'd think you would have read some actual court documents instead of watching YouTube. And she came back with, I did, so... Obviously not, which Monica replied, and you made a laughing, crying emoji. Look, you don't just lie on some dude and get him fired and make him look like some this. You just don't do that to people, just because he was a bit overly kind. <laughs> I was carrying on. I didn't lie. Neither did the others who filed affidavits. You've been lied to and I'm sorry that you fell for it. Receipts are coming. Still holding on to that claim, huh? Wow, Monica, just wow. Because it's the truth. I don't care whether you believe me or not. You really should stop watching YouTube for news. And as you can see, this is all coming from yesterday. And it's very interesting because in that thread, she literally contradicts herself 100%. Obviously, I read it at the very beginning and you got the part there where she says... You know, you've receipts are coming, but before that, she's like, oh, no, all evidence is it. Yeah, okie dokie. You know, it's that kind of dynamic with her. And some of the things that she actually comes out with, you just look at it and think, Monica, come on now, darling. Yes, you know, something may have happened, but again, no, it's he said, she said. If something happened, something happened. But if someone says one thing and someone says the other, it's literally he said, she said. It's the game of Chinese whispers, where literally something is said somewhere, and then it just grows and grows and grows into something it's not. Which is probably what's happened here. Again, you know, for all we know, Vic may have kissed Monica, but again, he could have thought that it was mutual, and you know, it's like, oh no, this is a, you know, and she could have been thought, and, oh, well, what's happening here? But then she could have gone out, told someone, oh, he's, something's just happened, but every time that person who Monica had told, it's gone further on down the line. Because when you hear people saying, oh, there's been rumours. So where, the, where did these rumours first start? You know, that's what people need to get to the bottom to. And they can, because you cannot trace this back to anyone. Again, you'll probably get people, oh, yeah, you know what? He said this to me, so I'm going to say that. Oh, he done this, but he didn't really. I'm just saying it. You know, a bit like how Montello kept going, keeps going on, I should say. Oh, he done this. Oh, no, it wasn't to me. But then a couple of tweets later, oh, no, it was me. It was in the elevator. But then a couple of days later, oh, no, it was against me, but it was in a hotel somewhere. It was here. It was there. Then the hotel, like, nope, he was never here. Or the actual con organizer was like, nope, he won with us that year. You know, it's that sort of thing. And it just goes to show that these people will try anything to get rid of someone. And that's a very, very sad way to live. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.